IMD World Competitiveness Center is pleased to announce the release of the 2017 World Competitiveness Rankings. Our mission remains to assess the ability of nations to generate long-term value for their citizens. And that's how we expect our rankings to be used, as a tool and objective of economic policy aiming to increase prosperity for a nation. This year, our team has worked extremely hard to assess the ability of nations and governments to generate long-term value. In 2017, we are also particularly pleased because we are also releasing for the first time the IMD World Digital Competitiveness Rankings. The latter is a method of the ability of nations and corporations to adopt digital technologies in order to transform government, corporate and individual decisions. But let's focus on the 2017 World Competitiveness Rankings. In a global and interconnected world, it is essential to understand the forces that allow governments and corporations to compete. The IMD World Competitiveness Center has been trying to assess such an ability for both governments and companies that relies primarily on quality of institutions, regulations, economic values, and the culture of a country. The top four most competitive economies in the world remain the same as in the past two years. Hong Kong, Switzerland, Singapore, and the United States. However, the United States declines one position, while Singapore becomes the third most competitive country. As in the previous years, the extended list of the countries that are characterized by high competitiveness performance includes large and small, exporting and importing, manufacturing-based and service economies. The common pattern among these is their focus on business-friendly regulation, physical and intangible infrastructure, and the promotion of inclusive institutions. The bottom part of the ranking will not surprise anybody and includes countries that have gone through economic and political ordeals in the last two years, Ukraine, Brazil, and Venezuela. Worth mentioning is the decline in the rankings of previously well-placed economies, such as Poland, Turkey, Italy, Slovak Republic, and Hungary. Let me provide you with a detailed outlook of the different regions in the world. Asia includes two of the most competitive economies, Hong Kong and Singapore. With some exceptions, the region is notable for consistency in the rankings this year. Taiwan, Japan, South Korea, Thailand and the Philippines belong to this group. A decline, sometimes significant, characterized the countries of Malaysia and India. An improvement in infrastructure in these countries may provide the path to advance in the competitiveness placement. The Asian country that realized the highest increase in competitiveness is China. An improvement of seven places can be traced in China's dedication to international trade that continues to drive the economy, as well as the improvement in the government and business efficiency. Let me focus on Europe. We welcome the addition of Cyprus in our rankings. In Eastern Europe, with the exception of Estonia and Bulgaria, we note the deterioration throughout the region. Poland, Slovak Republic, Latvia, Czech Republic and Hungary all have declined in the competitiveness ladder. In Western Europe, results are different. Finland, Iceland and the Netherlands account for the largest jumps in the rankings. But also Luxembourg, Norway and Ireland, among others, keep on improving. In Western Europe, Although the direct drivers of these improvements are varied, they are all countries that continue to embrace the global economy. In the Middle East, we welcome Saudi Arabia as an additional country in our rankings. The effect of the oil prices on public finances continued to impact the region. Qatar, as well as Israel and Jordan, do not enjoy competitiveness improvements. However, the more diversified the economy, the more resilient it proved to be. Countries in Latin America, with the exception of Chile, experience a drop in the competitiveness ranking. This decline can be largely understood as the result of poor economic performance. We also see Brazil, Colombia, Mexico, and Peru 
experiencing a deterioration of government efficiency. Another important factor for the region's declining competitiveness trends is the efficiency of the private sector, especially in relation to business productivity, Argentina and Brazil, management practices and business attitudes and values, Colombia and Peru, and the labor market, Brazil and Mexico. The ranking is used by governments and companies alike by driving attention to key indicators that can point to implications of doing business in a certain country. Having an advantage in certain areas, such as the public sector, adds to the competitive advantage of a country overall. The performance of key companies affect how an economy performs on a global scale. Technology changes at great speed, and it affects not only how businesses function, but also how countries perform today and evolve in the future. Governments around the world are investing heavily on the enhancement of their digital economy in order to augment value creation and prosperity in their countries. The digital technology needs to also be implemented and further explored in order to improve efficiency and therefore the range and quality of services provided to citizens and businesses. In order to assess the capacity and readiness of a country to adapt, explore, and make the most of the digital transformation, the IMD World Competitiveness Center is introducing the World Digital Competitiveness Ranking. The new ranking provides a measure of a country's ability to adopt and explore digital technologies leading to transformation in government practices, business models, and society in general. The Digital Competitiveness Ranking is based on 50 criteria, one-third of which are new data. The 50 indicators are grouped in nine sub-factors that, in turn, are classified in three factors. The first factor, knowledge, reflects a country's capacity to understand and learn the new technologies. The second factor measures the technology environment of an economy, that is, the competence to develop new digital innovations. The final factor reflects on the readiness of an economy for the coming developments. We suggest that these measures provide an understanding on the awareness and readiness an economy exhibits with respect to the digital transformation. Top countries in the IMD World Digital Competitiveness Ranking achieve consistent performance in supportive regulation Singapore, Sweden and Finland, Adaptive Attitudes, USA, Finland and Denmark, and IT Integration, Singapore, Sweden and Finland. For a complete list of the World Competitiveness Ranking, or to learn more about IMD's 29th World Competitiveness Yearbook, please visit the website.